Expo Explorers. Let's go on an adventure with Sarah and Zane to find out what expos are all about. I wonder who we'll meet. In the heart of Dubai live Sarah and Zane. They've seen signs for an event called Expo 2020 Dubai. Their dad has been busy working hard every day on all sorts of inventions to show at this World Expo. But the kids don't get what all the fuss is about. What are World Expos? And what makes them so great? Dad! They exclaim when he gets home from work. What are World Expos? And what makes them so great? An Expo, he explains is a huge celebration of ideas and inventions from hundreds of countries. Expo 2020 Dubai will be as big as a city, with millions of people visiting from all over the world. And do you know what is so cool about a World Expo? He takes out his bag and searches for something. I don't think there are enough words in the whole wide world to explain all the things that make Expos so great. He gives each child a pair of goggles. But perhaps I can show you, with the help of some friends. Sarah and Zayn put on the goggles and when they switch them on, their world transforms. Through the goggles, the kids see stunning lights and a bearded man gleaming with pride. What's so great about Expos? The man asks. Well, it's all the inventions by inventors like me. Hi, I'm Werner, Werner from Siemens. More than 170 years ago, I started my company. Since then, Siemens has invented lights, power and trains and lots of amazing things for World Expos. These Expos push us to be the best of the best and to continue to innovate and make the latest tech. Now Siemens inventions are cooler than ever because of something that's called digitalization. This means that all of our Siemens machines are connected together and can speak to one another. And now Siemens engineers are busy inventing new things to show at Expo 2020 Dubai. If it weren't for Expos, Sarah realises, Our ideas might get stuck as scribbles and thoughts, but Expos are great because inventors know that their projects will be seen by the whole world. Suddenly there was a flash, a bang and a thump, and in front of them stands a Syrian man. What's so great about an expo, you ask? Well, it's the food, of course, cries Mr. Humwee. It was 1904 when, at the World Expo, I was selling some waffles, explains Mr. Humwee. I was beside an ice cream man who had run out of bowls, so I thought I could help out with a rolled up waffle. My dessert did the job and held the ice cream scoop, and so was born the modern ice cream cone. From ketchup to hot dogs, cotton candy to iced tea, waffles and grapefruit, even peanut butter, all of these things were revealed at Expos. And who doesn't love ice cream and waffles? Before the kids knew it, the scene changed again, this time to a skyline of buildings built for Expos. What's so great about an Expo, you ask? exclaims a French voice from the top of a tower. It's the buildings, of course. Mr. Eiffel answers. An expo's architecture is one of a kind. Over 100 years ago, I built this tower for the Paris Expo, and it wasn't like that first. But that's the thing, with almost all great ideas. To be the best of the best, they have to be different. And the best part is... Their dad chimes in. At Expo 2020, the buildings will talk, not really out loud, but to one another. They will be connected by computers, all sharing data. Like if a building gets too hot, it will set off a warning, and the air conditioning will listen and cool it back down. The goggles flash and the kids gaze ahead at trains and cars and boats and planes. Things that drive and things that fly, and among it all is a hovercraft pilot. What's so great about an expo? The pilot asks. It's the fun you can have just getting there. In 1988, I got myself a job as a hovercraft pilot for the Brisbane Expo. These vehicles that carry us around, a lot of them have World Expos to thank. Metros and cars, elevators and submarines were all revealed at past Expos. For Expo 2020, 
Their dad explains. There is talk of cars that might drive themselves, and taxis that fly, and high-speed trains. Who knows how we might be getting there? Where are they now? The kids look around at a room full of screens, machines, and gadgets. From behind a computer emerges a figure, a metre and a half tall, and all painted in blue. Hello, I'm Hai Bao, a robot from China. I was built for Expo 2010. Like TVs and phones, touchscreens and robots, Haibo is an invention that was revealed at an expo. If it weren't for the expo, their dad explains, the inventions I'm working on might never be seen. I so can't wait to see the gadgets that will be revealed at expo, Zane says to Sarah. For Sarah and Zane, the world changes again. They look around at a sea of children. It's a great big mix of girls and boys, a crowd of kids from all over the world. The playground is like nothing they have seen. It's alive and moving to the beat of the kids. The faster the kids run, the brighter the playground shines. It's singing and dancing to the energy of fun. Hi, I'm Kara. A little girl announces. I'm Eddie. I'm Yusuf. And my name is Pablo. All sorts of names from all sorts of places, coming together to meet one another. Their dad watches on and lets Sarah and Zane play for just a bit longer. Bedtime can wait. Expos are great, he thinks to himself. Because of the people they'll meet, the things they'll learn. Before they know it, the kids are home in their ordinary kitchen, the usual view. Look at the time! Their dad panics and shoes them off upstairs to bed. What do you think makes an expo so great? Sarah asks Zane in the bedroom darkness. He thinks about this for a little while. There are so many things that make expos special. I think best of all, Zane answers, is meeting new people from all over the world. Yeah, you're right. Sarah agrees. From different countries and with different jobs and how they all come together to make the world a better place. Finally, the kids drift off to sleep, filled with amazing dreams of the upcoming expo. Of flying cars and robot chefs, of dancing playgrounds and shiny buildings, of Siemens inventions and the kids they'll meet. All the fantastic things they can't wait to see.